Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing the SN6 Magistrate, which is the marksman variant of the SN6. And while I think it's one of the better looking versions, I just I just really like the uh, yellow and blue color scheme. It's more of an average gun. It's got some good things, some bad things, and one really fun attribute that we'll talk about near the end of the episode. First good thing that we have going on here is that our five shot kill range is increased by 15%. That is what the increased range means on this weapon. Unfortunately, it's not the four shot kill range or the maximum range. Just the five shot and that's uh it's not the greatest buff ever but hey it's something you can stack it with advanced rifling and make it a little bit better the next nice thing it has going on which is probably the biggest and best is that it has 10 percent less recoil it's kind of nice the sn6 variants all of them have low recoil the sn6 is the lowest recoil smg in the game and it got less recoil in a recent patch and this has even lower recoil still so it kicks very very little you can stack it with foregrip and it is extremely accurate and that truly is is the strength of this variant is just how accurate that is. It comes with a couple of downsides though we have 10% wider hip fire spread. On a gun like this that's not the biggest of problems because most of the time you're going to aim down sights with it. It wasn't never really was the greatest hip fire weapon because it takes four shots to kill and, and the rate of fire is kind of slow so not many people hip fire with it anyway. 10% wider hip fire for spread might be frustrating when it causes you to miss shots and therefore drop your time to kill even slower but again if you just ADS with it this won't be a problem at all. Unfortunately Unfortunately, the aim down sights time is also nerfed. We have a slightly longer ADS time from 200 milliseconds to 220 milliseconds. This is a 10% increase, but it's not that big of a change. You probably won't notice it, and if it's a big, big deal, you can go ahead and put a quick draw grip on there, and that will completely fix the problem. I think this is kind of a fun variant. It's probably the most accurate SMG overall, maybe tied with one or two of the other SN6 variants that also have the same accuracy buff. It's not like the greatest. It doesn't kill super fast. The damage damage isn't super high, but it's very accurate. It's very, very easy to use. It has a very good, solid, consistent feel to it, and that's something that I enjoy. I enjoy not having to worry about recoil, and when I want that, this is one of the weapons that I gravitate towards. As for what I think is best on this weapon, I'm actually going to not recommend the quick draw grip, but you can run that if you want to. I think it's best with advanced rifling and foregrip. Advanced rifling is just a flat range bonus. We get more four shot range and five shot range. There's a little buff on it, so that stacks and that's good. And it's already very, very accurate, but it does kick some, and there's some muzzle flash and some human error. Foregrip really helps a lot. Foregrip brings this into like the god tier of accuracy, which is, I'm just stacking it all on accuracy here. I'm making an accuracy gun. You can kind of see what I'm doing. And I think it helps the overall handling performance, makes it feel much better. So that's what I would recommend you do too. Again, not the most amazing of guns. This is not going to outgun the ASM-1. This is not going to beat the bowels. This isn't going to beat, you know, uh, akimbo light machine guns or anything. But it does feel good, and it is easy to use, and you will be able to kill people with it. Guys, that's all for this episode. I know it was short, but I've got something a little bit bigger planned for the next episode. The previous one was the Pummeler Moors. The next one is going to be on the SAC 3 Crime and Punishment. A little bit longer there. And as always, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.